No longer do you need to go through Hollywood to become famous. With the internet, anyone can do it themselves. Look at Justin Bieber, I Justin, Charlie is so cool, like Hip Jumba, Emmanuel and Philip. They all have one thing in common. They don't just watch media, they're making it. Yuziki is a nonprofit that gives teens the tools and coaching they need in media production, life skills, and performing arts. To create quality content for TV, radio, and the web, and make your message spread as you build a fan base and create a path for the future now. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Yuziki Live. Tonight, we are featuring Real Talk, where we are bringing you four four pressing issues that are facing us today. Now I want to welcome our guests, starting with Scott. Scott's over there on the computer. Hi, Scott. Hi, Scott. Hello. I'm and, Scott. <laughs> yes. He's a Yuziki producer here, and he will be actually reading all of your Facebook comments on our Facebook page, facebook.com slash Yuziki. You can participate in our discussions by going there now. There's Iman, Iman Wilson Parson right over there, and he's Hello. also a producer here. Hey guys. We've got Jennifer. Hello. And Henry. Sorry, my name's Henry. Okay, but there's Jennifer. Oh, now you're Henry. Okay. Now I'm Henry. Okay, good. I can be Jennifer if you want me to. <laughs> and we have Shad over there, the DJ, rocking it out for us. Go, DJ, go in the darkness. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so have you ever been watching TV and you see these Romney commercials or you see these Obama commercials and you're just like, let's say you're under 18, you're probably thinking to yourself, well, what am I supposed to do with this? I can't even vote. Well, what do you guys think? Well, Should can... teens be able to vote under 18? Let's take a look at Brandon Weber. He went out to his school theater and interviewed his friends about it. Hello, this is Brandon Weber. Do you think teens should vote? Uh, you know, maybe if there was some kind of standard you had to set, like if students like me, you know, if you could prove that they had my level of intelligence. Okay, you're taking too long. Yes, we're people too. Come on. That's all I have to say. Teens are stupid people, and they don't know better. So they're, they don't know about the issues, <laughs> and they don't care anything. about the issues. All right, so what do you guys think, guests? Should they be able to vote? And by the way, audience, you will be able to get your opinion heard if you go to our Facebook, facebook.com slash Yuziki. All right, what do you guys think? Keep in mind, those are actors. They don't know any better. I don't think teens should vote. I, I, yeah, I don't think they should. Even at 18, I think it should be a little higher than that. Like 40? Well, no, because, see, the thing is... We'll talk about it later. Come on, your turn. <laughs> uh, no, they should not be able to vote. 18's a good age. Scott? Um, I kind of, I'm on the fence. I'm not sure if they should be able to vote or not. I agree with the whole standard thing, but, again, they've, they're still kids. I personally think that most people our age are idiots. Like, we got, like, the few dozen that are like, okay, they might have, look, they know politics. Like, they've done the research. They know all the different stuff about politics. You're referring to yourself, I guess. Yeah, I know I am. Um, I'm, I'm pretty smart, in case you didn't know. And so, but then, like, for every person like me, there's ten idiots who don't care about that, and they would elect Lil Wayne for president. <laughs> and so I don't think we should vote, because most people our age are idiots and don't even know, like, I'm just going to do an example real quick. Uh, like, we did, like, during rehearsal, we did the whole, what's the difference between Democrat and Republican? And so I'm going to do a different one, because now you guys know what that is. What's the Magna Carta? Not it. Not it. Nose goes. <laughs> <laughs> it's, Why don't you I tell believe... us, Henry? I don't know either. That's exactly why we should not be able to vote. But I can vote. I am 18. That's, I don't know I'm what the Magna now. Carta is. Very but I have now. done research on the presidents and what they stand for, and the economy and how it works, and then business and not business. How does the economy work? The economy work? It's the wealth of the country. And it doesn't actually mean gold or money, it means power. It can be anything. That's what it is. I think no matter how old you are, before every you every election, you should have to take a test, like almost like the exactly. census, where you are able to vote. Yes. No go. matter what age. We'll I mean of course under test. eighteen. 
Under 18 shouldn't even have to take the test because they can't vote at all. But over 18, no matter how old you are, you should have to take the test. Yes. That's all right. You think there should be a test? Like, what kind of test? Like, kind of like a census kind of test. Because then it goes yeah. back, like, you know how when African Americans first earned the right to vote, yeah. but you had to own land, and then your grandfather also had to learn land, and then you had to take a super crazy hard literature test yeah, that I even wonder how hard it was people. To learn. But, but it's also like, yeah, the test. like a literature it's test. Like the Are test. you kidding me? Was that supposed to be some kind of joke? It's like the history test. You're how was their to... grandparents supposed to own land when their grandparents were slaves? All right, I want to hear from Scott. Uh, what is the audience saying about? This. Tonio Let's Dance Cook says, what? OMG, yes. Is that his birth name? That, <laughs> that's his, is that name. his birth middle name. <laughs> and then John K says, whoops, my bad. Oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Tyler Becker says, no. And then Neil Grasse Dare, dunno, it should depend on whether you're responsible enough. Depend since they said dunno, I uh, yeah. there. <laughs> Who are you gonna vote for? Dunno. He's gonna put that on his ballot watch. So <laughs> Dunno. Who else, Scott? Anything um, else? Yes, one other person. Mohammed Masari says, I agree with Nell Gray Stare. But in another way I say no, because in this generation there's a lot of teens that are out, out that are out of control. Yeah. Gotcha. Right. He also says hi to Sasha. Okay, well, hello, Mohammed. <laughs> I think he knows. It's Mo. So. Yeah, it's Mo. All right, anyone else? Uh, no, that is it. We want to hear from you. What's your opinion? I mean, we've heard enough from these guys. We want to hear about you. <laughs> so we'll be back with our next topic, cyberbullying. After this. Do you feel like someone else is running your life? So Do you wish that you were independent? Do you want to get away from your parents and live on your own? Wait no more! Introducing the iHome. It opens with ease. It is indestructible and completely safe. It's portable. It has Pikachu security for your own safety. Seem a little gloomy in your home? Well, you're not gloomy because it includes your very own Beatles poster. And if you call within the next 30 seconds, we include your very own mustache man. Mustache man. Yeah, mustache man. Yeah, mustache man. Yeah, mustache man. Yeah. Some restrictions may apply. Odds of winning one third million. Must be 18 or older, does not come with poop. All right, so our next topic is actually a very serious one. Cyberbullying. It may have happened to you, it may have happened to your sister, your brother, or maybe even your mother. Or your dog. No, Henry, stay out of my business. Okay, so. <laughs> All right, cyberbullying, guys. Uh, Mr. Scott, Scott is a producer here at Yuziki. He actually created this short video about cyberbullying and how he's been affected by it and how some other people here at Yuziki have been affected by it. Let's check it out. It's gonna be really harsh online because it's so much easier to do it online than face to face. Why would you go out and do that to a person? If someone wants to put me down, then uh, we return with a funnier, better, more intelligent comment in return. I have a friend who's been cyberbullied before and I feel really bad for him. Almost my whole life until I went to um, my new school, was living hell for me. And I feel like it's a pressing, pressing issue that people can be so mean online. All right, so we got bullying, we got cyberbullying. Now, which one do you prefer? Uh, or is there even a preference? Or is it like no bullying in general? What do you guys think, guests? Oh, I'm so lazy in the show. Um, <laughs> personally, I prefer my bullying, uh, medium rare. Uh, it's either like you can have it online, in person, or medium rare. I prefer medium rare. I like it cooked. What's your opinion? Um, I think both are just really cool, but really cool. Not to be really cruel, but not okay. to be a bully or anything. But 
I think we kind of actually need some bowling. Not need it, but bowling is helpful kind of in high school because it kind of gets you prepared for the real world. But it's just, you shouldn't take it to an extreme. Like cyber bowling, I mean, do you really have nothing to do with your life to bully someone? Like really, over the internet. Like, it's just pointless. I don't get it. Um, I think bullying is kind of messed up. Making fun of people for their imperfections or something about like that, the way they act or the way they dress. I don't think it's a really nice thing to do online, in person, doesn't make a difference. Um, my whole feeling about Yuziki, er, uh, but <laughs> about bullying is I'd rather Same be bullied face to face and know that they're not cowards hiding behind a computer screen trying to bully me. Uh, yeah, but like, if I'm on my computer and someone calls me like a stupid idiot, I, I'm really, or starts trying to cyber bully me and I've never met them before, I'm probably just going to have as much fun with this guy being this retarded and not having this much, like, having so much free time that he has to insult a stranger. And I'm just going to, like, go with it. I mean, I don't see how, like, it can actually hurt my feelings. Mm -hmm. You know? Well, online, some a lot of people had said things. Uh, Skyla Williams says, I think cyberbullying is just as bad as bullying someone out in the real world. It shows you you are hide, be, hi, hiding behind a brick wall because you're scared of what could happen to you if the word got out. And all bullying is bad. I think everyone knows that and has no right to pick on someone at all. Tony o Let's Dance Cook again says... He's on a roll today. <laughs> Cyberbullying yeah. is just as bad as any other type of bullying. And a lot of people are saying that exact same thing. And then Cordy Demeter says anybody contemplating or attempting hurting themselves or others over something that someone says over the internet is just stupid. Amen. Grow a pair and learn how to either stand up for yourself or not to care what anybody says. I'm gonna friend Amen. that guy. Amen. All right, so well, Scott, what do you think personally about that, like uh, this whole like grow a pair thing? What, well, <laughs> come on. Like people are actually like, you know, taking action and like hurting themselves because they're getting bullied online. Like what, what do you guys think? I think, um, let's just say that Jennifer is cyberbullying me, we've never met. Her name is Diddy Diddy Ding Dong 49 or whatever. Diddy Ding Dong 49. And she bullies me, and I take my own life. I've never met her. I'm friends with Henry and him, and they know everything about me and know I'm really down and depressed. And I take my own life? Is it their fault or it hurts? Like, it's no one's to follow, no one to blame, but the people that are actually in that person's lives should be there and should know that he's really down and try to build his confidence and try to be there for him. And I don't think it's to blame the cyberbully. What do you think, Scott? Um, again, I think it's the person's fault uh, for taking it that close to heart. Um, but I still feel like there has to be some action taken. Um, I mean, they have a lot of organizations like uh, Safe to Tell and places that you can call and you can report cyberbullying, drug use. And I mean, those are great things. They're just not out there as much as they should be. They should really be promoting those places more. Well, and here's the thing is that cyberbullying, like if anyone's seen the movie Cyberbully, it can actually lead to going, it can go to your high school. If people see all those rude comments and then the cyberbully starts spreading all these rumors on the internet, then it can go to your high school and that can ruin your high school life. Someone so. actually, yeah, someone actually commented on Facebook. Roger Christensen says, it spreads beyond cyberspace. I've seen Facebook gossip that started from cyberbullying interfere with business contacts and cause actual loss of money, job references, etc. So you, I, it yeah. definitely goes beyond cyberspace. That's pretty intense. Uh, yeah. Jennifer, what's your opinion on it? <laughs> Would you like to elaborate even more? Well, like, well, like exactly what he said. You know, it doesn't. It's not just within the internet because the internet is so many big things, and it's your business. A lot of people's business are through the internet. So when you get cyberbullied, it goes to your business, and it can even get to your family and everything. So it's a pretty big issue to like discuss and everything. Exactly. So how do you think we could uh, could we do anything to kind of stop the whole cyberbullying? I know you talked about these organizations, Scott. But, uh, and you said they're not doing enough, they're not out there enough. I it's mean, impossible. I, what do you think we could do to kind of... It's impossible to get rid of it. It's just, like, if you bully, at least, um, if you troll, 
do it, but make sure you don't actually hurt their feelings or apologize oh, afterwards. The there's that, you're just yeah. kidding. There's you know? that line, and then there's, yeah, there's the, the line that's the been cut, line, and then you crumpled it. up, shot, and put on fire. So there's like yeah. fun and play, but then there's like hate. Yes. Yeah. And I think that's that's what they really have to know is how to distinguish fun and then hate. Yeah. But then bullying has always been an issue within all high schools. Like, have you ever heard of high school where there wasn't any bullying? No. It's always been an issue. So cyberbullying is just a new issue that's more high tech, I guess. Yeah. And it's yeah. just a way for cowards to hide behind a computer screen and be mean. Exactly. Mm. Well, well, I'm not disagreeing with you. I'm just saying. Hmm. Well, what's your opinion on? Well, maybe he's I a think... cyber bully. He is a cyber bully. Oh, I think we all up. know that um, he is. I'm gonna poke <laughs> you. With a show like with a show like Anime <laughs> Hour, you might as well just punch people in the face. I hate you. Oh. <laughs> that bully. Oh, Personally, <laughs> I think that uh, <laughs> like a little bullying really does you good. Like, no, I'm not being like everyone should go get bullied now. But like, what I'm saying is that like. Like I was bullied before, and that's kind of turned out how I, how I am today, and I think I'm pretty awesome. So <laughs> okay, great. I turned out okay. <laughs> okay, thanks, Henry. Thanks. Oh. So um, great guys, you know, and I really see that like there's two different views here. It's like okay, grow up, bullying's never gonna go away, so learn to deal with it. And then there's the you know how to really stop people from being so hateful online. So you know, take it however you like. All right. Now we're gonna move on and go to something a little bit more light and fun. Scott, do you have a Facebook funny ready for us? I do. Okay, tell us what your Facebook funny of the day is. Um, if you can open up my screen, I Hold will be me. able to <laughs> show you what it looks like. Screen. Anyway, um, it's all the internet browsers if they were guns. Oh, that's horrible. And it gets that's funny. Horrible, it gets man. funnier that's as you horrible. go down. <laughs> oh god. We just talked about gun control. This is horrible. Wait, who uses internet as <laughs> Wait, there's one with an N? <laughs> I've never heard of that. I like this oh, one. Yeah. Uh Oh, okay, so Safari doesn't even work. It's just no, there, Internet that's Explorer Safari. is like shooting yourself. <laughs> is there anything else that you have as far as a Facebook funny other than these guns? No. Okay, well, then we're going to show a picture of Scott's if face. If you get off my so screen guys, really quick, I might be able to find So more. thank you for joining us tonight. Go to our Facebook, facebook.com slash Uziki to continue the conversation. I want to close up by just recapping everything we've talked about. We talked about whether you should vote under the age of 18. We talked about... Missy Franklin, who's rocking it out in the Olympics swimming. And we talked about our wonderful, actually sad, cyberbullying. Bullying in general is just horrible. Stop it, knock it out, y'all. Just stop bullying. That's, that's the point I want to make. But I'm not supposed to tell you my opinion. I'm the host. Anyway, <laughs> any last words, guests? Yeah, don't bully unless, you know, you apologize and say you're kidding, you know? You, you always gotta find humor in yourself. Uh, I, I've never been picked on, but my friends always pick on me because I'm the token friend, you know? Okay. Or if you're a bully, <laughs> just get a life. I'm like, the really. token friend too. Okay. Well, even at what Chad said in the video, uh, never mind. No, go ahead! <laughs> Chad in the video, he even said he turns it into a game. He returns with a funny, intelligent comment, and that's totally true. Make a game out of it. Yeah. All right, awesome, guys. And then hire a hit. All right. And then you gotta go, hit guys. Hit. So thanks for joining us, all of you guests. We love you. Thank you to everybody who participated here in the studio, the DJ, Shad, and our control room people, Switcher, everyone. See you next week! Open Gangnam Style. Gangnam Style.
Gangnam Style. Gangnam Style. 